Perfect. Okay. Hi guys. Sorry. I totally started recording this late, um, but that's okay. I just wanted to say that I'm super excited for tonight. And like I said, if you don't know, if like somebody's not on, like, please make sure that they are on this. Um, we can definitely have more than a hundred people guys. They obviously all need to hear this and everybody needs like the best tips possible. I remember when I was new, the number one thing that I did was always hop on every single zoom um, that I possibly could. So I could be the best of the best. So um, make sure that you guys are hopping on every zoom. And those of you that are on this, give yourself a pat on the back. Cause y'all were on super early and like ready before I was ready. So I'm proud of you guys. Um, but again, we're going to talk about how to obviously balance each social media platform. TikTok is really new. So I just want to make sure that we are balancing each platform and giving each social media platform that we do work some love because you as you and I both know that obviously we can enroll massively on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, right? Um, so this is going to be a Zoom about how to balance all of that, okay? Um, so Cass, I'm going to let you just like start and like introduce me off and then I'll just go ahead and start with my story. Okay. okay. Let me so just start. me and Haley actually had like a very impromptu conversation this morning about TikTok and just honestly about like how much time to spend, like she said, and she said that she even felt was guilty of it, like spending too much time or obsessing over it, like when to post, what to post, how do I go viral, like what do I need to do? And at the end of the day, like it doesn't really matter. I think it's just kind of like consistency. It's a hit or miss. I don't think there's any kind of system that any of us really know. Definitely. But it's just so important not to neglect the other things because I know for me, I'm very new to TikTok. And like today was like the first day I actually got anything to actually pick off from it. But even then, so like I was enrolling so much earlier in the month all from like Facebook host to post and Instagram and all the other things. So it's so important to make sure that we don't neglect the other things that we do the things that we know work. Yeah. Um, so that's basically it. We're going to obviously go into more detail about that. But in case you guys just don't know Haley, she's just going to share like a brief summary of her story. She's obviously amazing. You guys probably all know who she is. She's like a fireball. She's awesome. So just, brief, blush. <laughs> just like briefly go over your story and then we'll get into it. Perfect. Okay. So hi guys, I'm Haley. Um, I'm actually a triple diamond. I've been in this for a little over two years, which is so crazy because I seriously feel like I joined yesterday. Um, and I'm so in love with this business. You guys, like whenever I joined, I was miserable and I don't think I knew how miserable I was. Um, I had actually just graduated from the University of Missouri with my chemistry degree. Um, and I had like like a minor in sociology and theater and an emphasis in multicultural studies. And if that doesn't tell you that I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, I don't know what will. Um, I really liked everything, right? But I couldn't find one thing that I was really passionate about. So obviously my next step was mm, go to grad school because that's what everybody knows. So obviously I went to grad school and I actually moved 13 hours away from my home to go to grad school. And it was just me and my boyfriend. We both went to school. Um, and while I was, before I went, um, I was actually scrolling through Instagram and the girl that I was buying products from at the time was posting about the business and she had reached out to me multiple times about getting started and I was like nah like you're a scam even though I was buying products from her I still told her she was a scam but I didn't know what I was talking about I didn't even know what the word scam was I just saw people use it and I was like that must be it right because it sounds too good to be true how many of you drop a two if you've ever been told or thought that it works was just way too good to be true right because I'm like gosh this all sounds great <laughs> and so it's got to be too good to be true this can't be real so I saw her making money and I watched her let me listen up to this part I watched her for nine months the amount of time that you're pregnant is the amount of time I watched a girl make money before I actually joined okay so for those of you that are like I've been in a month I've been in three months I've been in six months and I still don't have as many distributors or as many enrollments as I want my advice to you is going to be keep the faith and stay patient and stay consistent because if y'all would give up, I would have been somebody that would have never joined your team, right? Because I was a watcher for so long. I never interacted on posts. I literally just watched the girl who enrolled me. And so I saw her post about groceries and I'm a huge budgeter. And when I budgeted out, I was $100 a month short on my groceries. I had budgeted out $25 a week for groceries. Drop a three if you spend more than that on your groceries because I did, but I was like, I can survive off $25 a week. I can eat ramen every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm using that quote from Lindsay because she used it earlier this week. But I literally was like, I can do that, right? I can live off ramen forever. But I couldn't, and I knew that I couldn't, right? So I wanted something more for my life. So I figured why not give this business a shot? This girl is over here buying her groceries. Why can't I buy mine with this business? So I gave it a chance. I sold my clothes to get the $99 to a consignment shop. Remember cashing the check, it was like $102. I was like, we're golden. And I got started right away and I earned my shopping spree in 48 to 72 hours. I know those of you who are brand new, drop a one below. Um, like this is your first day, your first week, your first month, whatever it may be. 
I don't want you to hear that and get discouraged and be like, oh, she got her shopping spree in two days. Yeah. Okay. This business isn't for me because I can tell you right now, I know girls who didn't get their shopping spree until the last day of the month and they pulled in all six customers. So every single person's story is different. I want you to listen to my story, but take it with a grain of salt. Right. Um, and so just know that at any moment you can turn it around no matter what's going on in your life. Okay. So obviously I got my shopping spree really quickly. Um, and I wanted to earn just a hundred dollars. And I obviously didn't do that in like my first two weeks. Cause I joined in the middle of July of 2019. And so I was only joining to make a hundred dollars. And then I was going to quit in the back of my mind, I was going to quit. And I made like $54 insert income disclosure statement here. If anybody's got it. Um, but I made like $54 and like 61 cents or something crazy like that. And I was like, Oh my God, this is not a hundred dollars. I'm going to keep going. So I kept going and it just so happened that our CEO released a review bonus that was $1,000 at the time. And that actually pushed me because my graduate school tuition fees were exactly $1,000 and I didn't know how I was going to pay for them. So when I saw that bonus, I was like, wow, I don't know what Ruby is, but I mean, drop a two of $1,000 sounded good to you guys, right? Because that sounded good to me back, back in the day. I was like, holy crap, that still sounds good to me. What am I saying? That still sounds good. $100 a week sounds good to me. So I was like, okay, like that sounds great. Like an extra $1,000 dollars an extra hundred dollars a week whatever that like obviously lights your fire that lit my fire so I made Ruby happen in like my first 45 days I was so hungry for more but my problem was I got Ruby and I was like oh my god this is hundreds of dollars this is more than what I joined for I'm rich like I'm so good this is great like this is more money than I had seen at any job when I would work for two months straight you know what I'm saying? So I was like, wow, this is great. This is great money. So I stayed there for six months and I went to conference, drop a three. If you got your conference ticket, I went to conference. Um, even though I didn't want to, um, I'm literally so glad that Lindsay, um, Lindsay Burgundy, if you guys don't know who she is, um, she's my leader, love her to death. Um, she actually reached out to me and was like, are you not going to conference? And I was like, no. And she was like, yeah, you need to go. And then I was like, okay. So I went and I'm so glad that I did because I ended up promoting three times when I went conference, I promoted on the plane to conference. I promoted the month after and the month after. And I don't want it to sound like it's like magical dust, but I caught the vision. I caught even bigger vision that I was destined for more. So after conference, I quit grad school. I quit both my jobs. I did this full time, even as a Ruby. And for those of you who know what Ruby is, Ruby is only a couple hundred dollars a month that can't pay my bills. So I forced myself into a basically in a very uncomfortable zone that I had never entered. No one thought I would be successful. Everybody told me that it was a scam, that I was just going to fail. Um, my whole family was completely worried about me. They're like, Haley's gone insane. Like she's lost it. Like here she was getting a bachelor's in chemistry. Now she's quitting grad school and her jobs and pursuing something that's giving her a couple hundred dollars a month. Well, little did they know that a year after that point, I would be here. I would be here as a triple diamond VIP in the top three ranks of the company, right? And I'm gonna be honest, at that moment, I didn't even know if that was gonna be me, but I did know at some point that I, I could do this. I had it in me, right? I didn't know how to get it out, but I would figure that out around the, along the way. I didn't care about the how. All I cared about was I had bills to pay, right? So I want you guys to remember that. Stop caring about the how, stop focusing on how. And that's what we're gonna talk about with TikTok tonight is stop focusing on how it's gonna happen what like just stop focusing on things you can't control because at that time I didn't know how it was going to happen I just knew I had to take care of my bills right so that's what drove me at the time and like obviously now it was different then it turned my why turned into paying off my student loans which I paid off four out of five and then it's turned into now I want to buy a house and save up and have a six-figure savings and like my dreams are different than when I joined right because this was my mindset of like my money mindset and how small and how small I dreamed then but at the end of the day, I knew inside I was meant for more. How many of you feel like that drop of four? If you feel like on the inside, you're meant for so much more than you are right now, right? You don't know how it's going to happen or what's going to happen, but you know you're meant for more, right? So that was me. And it makes me so happy that so many of you are dropping fours and you feel the same way because I know y'all are all going to be ambassadors someday that are dropping fours because you believe in yourself and you know there's this little part of you that is meant to be at the top, right? Right which is so awesome because there's room for everybody at the top. Um, do you want to say anything else? That was so good. That was so good. That was <laughs> did you want, do you want to say anything else? Or do you want me to just roll right there? I was going to just roll into it. That's perfect. perfect. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to say that over the last 48 hours, um, which is why I actually contacted Cassie about this, 
um, we had talked and basically I was very obsessed over going viral. Okay. Um, how many of you, please be honest, drop a me in the chat. If you focus on your, your TikTok way too much, you check it for views, you delete it, and then you repost it. You try to figure out how to obviously, you know, make the most of it. Right. And that was me. That was a hundred percent me. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Right. I'm doing these videos like these girls. I'm copying the right cat. What am I doing wrong? I'm here to tell you, you're not doing anything wrong. And let me repeat myself. Let me repeat myself. You're not doing anything wrong. You just have to stay patient because TikTok is one of those platforms. You can't actually control it. And now I want you to be even more vulnerable with yourself. And this one, I'm going to get a little bit of a fiery red in me. Um, drop a two. If you've kind of neglected or spent a little bit less time doing Facebook host of posts, Facebook, Instagram cold messaging, because you've been so focused on TikTok, right? And it's okay. It's okay. I want you to be real. I want you to be real because I would, I would drop it too. I can drop it too. Um, but that was me, right? That was me. I absolutely felt like that. I was constantly checking my TikToks more times than I probably should have. Um, instead of sending out messages, right? I got caught up in wasting time checking this platform that you have absolutely no control over. So what you need to do, and I'm going to give you the best tips, right? Because I have not gone viral. I think my biggest views on one of my videos is 151, okay? And I've posted like tons of posts. I've been posting since July. So I feel you, right? And I was getting frustrated. And there's no reason to get frustrated, okay? Because at the end of the day, we still have two amazing other platforms and even more if you use like Snapchat, right? But like you still have two amazing platforms that you were taught from the very beginning when you joined of how to be successful at because that you can control. You can control the amount of messages you send out. You can control the amount of post posts you get up. I don't care what you say, you can control it. You wanna know how I know? I literally texted Lindsay yesterday morning and I said, I'm going to get up 40 host of posts. I had never done that before. There are plenty of girls even on this Zoom that have gotten up 40. I have never gotten up 40 in one day, right? I got up 42 yesterday because I decided, because I made the decision and then I went after it. Do you guys see that, right? I didn't leave it up to chance. I didn't leave it up to fate because I knew at the end of the day, I can control what I do. I can control that. I can control the amount of messages I send out. I can control the fire within me that freaking keeps going all day. I literally, it was like 1130 and I, I told Lindsay, I was like, I'm at 37. 37 was the highest I've ever gotten. I was like, I'm going, I'm going. I'm not going to bed until it's done. And then even if it's done, I'm going to just keep going. Right. And when 1 a.m. hit, I was at 42. And I was like, good job, Haley. You did it. You did it. You freaking did it. And then now all of them are blowing up, which is like, I can't even keep up with them. I have enrolled over, I'm trying to think, over 30 customers this month. I don't know the exact number, but I've enrolled well over 30 customers this month. And that is just from Facebook host to post and Instagram cold messaging, okay? So I'm here to tell you that it doesn't matter if your TikToks blow up or not, okay? I'm not telling you to neglect TikTok and that's what I'm gonna talk about as well. But I'm telling you, stop neglecting the platforms that you can control what you get out of them. You cannot control what you get out of TikTok, no matter how hard you try right? That algorithm doesn't make any freaking sense. And at one point or another, we've all been desperate, right? Drop a one if you've ever been desperate for customers, desperate for distributors. Wow. So many ones already dropping. You've been desperate, right? You're never going to get what you want out of desperation. God will never give you what you want out of desperation. He wants you to have faith because if you're desperate, you're worried. And if you're worried, you're doubting God and you're doubting what he can do for you. And that's when I realized, holy crap, I am so desperate on TikTok. I've been desperate on Facebook before. How many of you have been desperate on Facebook host to post? I know y'all have because I get messages from y'all saying, Haley, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing? What host to post are you using? We look left and we look right. And we're like, what are we doing wrong? But in reality, you're not doing a single freaking thing wrong. You want to know what you're doing wrong? You're questioning yourself. You're doubting yourself. You're overthinking it. Stop overthinking it. Right. The moment that I it's so crazy, the moment um, that I actually stopped overthinking it, the next month I went triple the next month I promoted. Right. Because I stopped overthinking it. I stopped overthinking host of posts. I stopped overthinking distributors working on my team. And I just ran with the girls who were. 
And I just literally got up as many host posts as I can. What matters, guys, is that you stay consistent and you do the things every day. You have faith and you literally just show up as the best version of yourself for that day. And then you get up the next morning and say, I'm going to be better than that girl. I'm going to be better than that girl from yesterday. I'm going to get up an extra host of posts. You got up 21 the day before. Okay. I'm going to get up 25 today. Okay. I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better. Right. And some of you are like, well, Haley, what happens when I get to like 50 and then I can't get up anymore. Okay. Then go be better on another platform. Right. Go be a better leader. Go reach out to your team more. There is always a part in your business where you can be better. And I truly mean that. I feel like the moment that you become so stuck, how many of you have felt like you've been in a funk? And you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but how many of you have felt like you've been in a funk, right? A standstill, right? Because I've been there. I've 100% been there. And a lot of the times, it's literally just because I was overthinking everything I was doing. I was overthinking everything I was doing and I just kind of stopped myself because let's be honest, anytime you haven't enrolled customers, anytime you've been in a funk, it's because of you, whether it's your mindset, your consistency, your faith, I don't know which one it is, but it's going to be one of those three. So you have to figure out which one it is and get better and remain coachable in this business. The reason I have a TikTok is because I've remained coachable. For a while, I was like, I don't need a TikTok. I'm not going to do that. I even told Cassie over the summer. I was like, I'm not getting a TikTok. I'm not doing that. I was the exact same way. Yeah. So like we both were like that. And now look, like we both have TikToks, right? Because we knew that we, you either grow or you die. There's either, there's, there's like one or the other. And not saying like you actually physically die, but you die in this business. You will never get to the top by literally just doing the same thing over and over and over again. You guys know Albert Einstein? That's one of my favorite quotes is doing the same thing over and over and over and over again and expecting different results is called insanity, right? So for me, I will always adapt. I will always do it. Even if I'm hesitant and a little headstrong in the beginning, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not creative. I can't make videos, right? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And I'm still working on it. But at the same time, I'm not neglecting Facebook and Instagram. So here's what you're going to do from tonight on forward. On your TikTok, You are going to make your videos, whether that's in one day, every morning, whatever it may be. Okay. So if you do it in one day, take a couple of hours, you know, obviously maybe like, you know, I don't know how long it takes, but like maybe three, four hours. And then if you're doing them every day, you shouldn't spend more than like an hour making videos, right? You can always come back and edit your words on when you're like in the car, you know, road tripping somewhere, or when you're just hanging out in your living room with your cat or your dog or whatever, or you're hanging out with your family at dinner, you can always edit your words then, right? But you can't make videos when you're out. So the way that I learned it is I either have to pick a content day and make all my videos or do them in the morning. So for me, what I learned is make your videos, get off the freaking app, go work your business elsewhere, right? And then when it's time, for me, I have a creator account. So you can go to the analytics section and I see that my followers are active from 7 to 11 p.m. That's the best time for me to post. So I had two TikToks ready to go. I woke up this morning. I obviously had them saved. I put the words on them, got out of the app, right? 8 p.m. rolled around. I got on the app, posted both, left the app, haven't opened it. That's it. You guys are overcomplicating it. You're wasting time scrolling on TikTok. You are wasting time staring at your videos, waiting for them to blow up. Because my question to you is, and I don't wish this upon anyone, but this is where I'm going to get real. What if six months from now, you still didn't blow up? You still didn't go viral, but you neglected Facebook and Instagram. You neglected them both. Now you're getting what? 10 customers a month, maybe a distributor here and there. What's going to happen when everybody else around you is promoting to huge promotions and you're still sitting there waiting for your TikToks to go viral? That's real talk right there. You don't want to be that person. I don't want you to be that person. So that's why I'm on here now to tell you to knock it off. Stop messing around on TikTok. Stop staring at your videos, waiting for your views to go up or checking it every five seconds. If it blows up, great. If it doesn't, cool. Are you going to die if it doesn't blow up? No. So why do you keep checking it? Even if you are blowing up, let's say, let's say I'm going to talk to the people who are viral right now. All right, let's talk to you guys. Let's talk to the people who are blowing up right now. Why are you still checking it? Why are you still checking it every five seconds? What does that do for you? Give you some kind of satisfaction? You know what gives you satisfaction? Enrollments. Working with your team. Helping them promote. 
Why don't you focus a little bit more on that? Even if it's just a few minutes a day, those few minutes are precious. They're precious. And you're wasting them by checking your TikTok app constantly. It doesn't matter if you're viral or you're not, right? And I just had to be real about that, guys. I just need you guys to know that you are literally wasting, wasting money. Time is money. Let's be honest. Time is money, right? Every hour in this business, I look at it as like, hmm, what can I get for the most of this hour? What can I get done? What can I do? And that's what I did yesterday. Did you guys know I only messaged three times for host to post and I got 42? I messaged in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. And I got 42 host to post. That's all it took. And now you're like, holy crap, I could do that. You could do that. And then you blow up, right? And then you do it again tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And next thing you know, people don't even recognize you anymore because you're a completely new, amazing level of yourself that you finally decided to step into. And you're completely different. That's how I felt this year, starting this year and now ending this year. I kind of lost my way a little bit in the middle of the year. Right? We all did, right? Drop a, drop a one if you've been affected by 2020 or 2020. I don't know. What is this? What is this year? 2020? I don't know what year it is. This year's throwing me off. It's 2020, right? Literally, right? <laughs> Just kidding. But like, you've all been affected by it one way or another. We're going into 2021 now. We're leaving this year behind. 2021 is going to be a new you a new destined version of yourself that you were supposed to step into months ago. And you're here now. So my question to you is, why did it take so freaking long? And are you gonna wait any more minutes or hours or days to finally step into it? You're not. You're gonna decide tonight when you get off this Zoom that you're done. You're done wasting time, right? And where you don't, where you don't need to put it. Whether it's Netflix or scrolling on TikTok or whatever it may be, this is kind of taking a different kind of a term, but it's on my heart to say this. We're going into 2021. The work you're putting in now is going to pay you for all of 2021. Let me repeat that again. The work you're putting in right now is paying you for all of 2021. And tomorrow and the next day and the next day and January and February and March. And that's how amazing this business is. You are never going to regret the work that you put into this business. You're never going to be like, oh my God, I wish I would have spent that extra 30 minutes with my boyfriend instead of this $10,000 paycheck. No, you're never going to feel that way. I can promise you, you're never going to feel that way. I didn't feel that way. I did not feel that way when I went triple. I was like, mm, I don't regret any time I told my boyfriend, no, I don't. Right? Because I earned that. So look at where you're actually putting your time, guys, because I just noticed that, especially on my team and myself, we were putting way too much time into, oh my God, well, this girl, all the It Works girls are blowing up. How many of you felt like that? All the It Works girls have at least one video that's gone viral. What about me? Guess what? It's not all the It Works girls, okay? It's not all the It Works girls. And you guys need to remember that. To stop thinking that something's wrong because there's nothing wrong. And let me just stop right there for a second. I just want to brag on her for a second because I know that she wouldn't say it about herself, but Haley's literally our top enroller on our, on our entire team every single month. And I know for sure because I see the reports of customers and distributors and she's never, ever had a TikTok go viral or even like- Literally oh, highest oh, is 151 yeah, deaths. You guys, like you don't need to do that. I had never even really did it until like a couple of days ago, literally. Yeah. And I mass enroll very consistently all the time from his Facebook host posts or messaging, all the things that we know to do. I'm not saying don't do TikTok. I think it's great. I was very closed off in the beginning. I was like, oh, I don't want to learn something new. That seems so hard to me. That seems foreign to me. I finally wanted to start taking advantage of it because why not? And what I did was I started copying the people that were already successful in it. So instead of wasting time scrolling, go to like someone's page that you know is doing really well and copy their ideas. Like you don't have to have your own creative ideas. And you also don't have to have like a million freaking views to benefit from it either. Like someone can text you and you could have like 50 views. Like you just never know. But the whole point is, you do not need to like have that as like your only option to do really well in this business because there's just so many ways to build it. But of course, why not take advantage of all aspects if we can? Right. And Haley's a freaking boss and it's going to happen for you. But until then, she's going to keep doing her thing on Host of Post. Literally. And I'm never going to stop. And that's the thing. Like when it comes to TikTok, like I have enrolled a customer. I remember the day I texted you and I was like, oh my God, I'm getting my first coffee text. And that's the only person I've ever gotten from TikTok. 
today is that one person who got coffee, but you know what? She follows me on Instagram now and we're already talking about her being a distributor. And if I wouldn't have done TikTok and if I would have given up whenever I saw like, oh, I only have this many tons of views, I literally wouldn't have gotten her, right? So stop looking at like numbers. And we say this all the time with posting, with your stories, stop looking at the number because guess what? I wasn't a number. I wasn't a number. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't like, I didn't comment. I didn't, I literally just watched in the back. I was the creeper. I was like, oh my God, have you guys ever seen that Kim K um, thing where she like peeks out of the jungle and she's like, hey, like that's me. That was me. I was literally creeping, watching this girl post. I wasn't ready to join. I wasn't ready, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to take the leap of faith. I've been watching this girl long enough. I haven't liked any of her stuff because I didn't want her to reach out. I wasn't commenting on anything. I was like, I don't want this girl to reach out to me. Please, God, no. You know, but I was watching and I'm so glad that I stayed watching and I'm so glad she stayed consistent, right? Because I wouldn't have the friends I do today. I wouldn't have changed my life for the better if it wasn't for this business. So I just don't want you guys to look at TikTok and wonder if you're doing something wrong, right? Because that is what I ask myself every day. And I'm not exaggerating. You know, my boyfriend all attests to it. I was like, babe, what do you think I'm doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I text Cassie, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing and whenever wrong? you say, what am I doing wrong? You're going to continue to get more wrong answers. Ask mm. yourself, well, what are the people that are doing that are actually succeeding in it? Let me copy what they're doing. So I think it's all about the questions that you ask yourself. Ask yourself positive questions and what you could do better. That's what's most important. Definitely. And just doing income producing activities. Like scrolling is not making you any money. Like, why would you go down that route? Not even posting. Posting yeah. isn't something that you can control if it blows up or not. Reels or TikTok. I keep forgetting about reels. Reels or TikTok. It doesn't matter, right? Posting to your stories. You can't control if somebody reaches out to you. That's all TikTok is. Let me say that again. TikTok is just people reaching out to you. You can't control. I literally cannot control if Cassie comes and watches my video and reaches out to me. If she does, great right? If TikTok was the only thing back then, we would have been waiting forever. I would have waited forever to join, right? Because somebody had to, somebody had to reach out to me to join. How many of you got reached out to? Drop a one below. You got reached out to, right? I had to get reached out to. I didn't like it, but I had to get reached out to, right? And that's why we still do it. It's not the only thing that's successful. Again, we're not telling you not to do TikTok. We're telling you to do TikTok. Utilize it. Good God, utilize it. But it's one of those things where it's like posting posting your stories, you can't control who sees it and who does it, right? All you can control is the consistency behind it. So post your two to three videos a day, make them, draft them, go work your Facebook, go work your Instagram, go get on one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with your team, go prioritize what you can control, right? And do a lot of that. And then what happens is you're freaking, this is what I know is going to happen to me. I'm literally so consistent with every other platform that I know that I, that's all blowing up every day. I'm getting multiple customers every day, signing over hundred BV orders every day, distributors, right? All that. And then TikTok's going to blow up for me and I'm going to be like, whoa, all the platforms, right? Best overwhelming feeling. And I know you guys want that too, but you can't have it if you're not prioritizing what you can control. So start doing that. Start looking at your day because I promise you can get rid of some non, um, what is the word? Non monetizing like money. Like I'm trying to think of the word, but like basically like there's a lot of times that you're not making money throughout your day. You're income, wasting time. Income producing. income producing. Thank you. I knew I had the word income producing. Right. And there are plenty of times when, when I don't do that, I don't want to say that I'm perfect. And that's why I'm on this zoom telling you, right. I haven't been perfect up until this up until this point, I'm still not perfect. I there literally every single day of my life, I'm not perfect. But I do want to say that I'm I'm willing to admit it. I'm here on the Zoom telling you that up until this morning, I had freaked out and obsessed over TikTok. And I don't mind admitting that, right? Because I know I'm better for it if I admit my faults and then know where to correct them and move forward. Right? If you're sitting there in denial, Haley, I don't do that. I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I don't, I don't get on TikTok. I don't, what's TikTok? I don't get on that. I don't do that. I don't scroll. I don't text just in my group chats, hanging out, chilling. Yes, you do. Whether you want to admit it to me or not, you do. You need to admit it to yourself. That's the biggest thing because you cannot grow in this business if you guys don't. Okay.
So how many of you grab something from this Zoom, drop it to, if you feel like you learned something, I'm over here sweating. <laughs> Hopefully you guys learned something. Um, I just, I just don't want you guys to obsess over things you can't control. We do that every day, you know? And again, that's worrying. God doesn't like it when you worry because it means you don't trust him. So he's not going to give you what you pray for, what you ask for if you're sitting there doubting him, right? And this is kind of wild. And I don't even know if I should say this, but I always picture myself in his shoes, how I would feel, right? If somebody was like, can I please have this? Can I please have this? But the whole time they're like, they're not going to do it. They're not going to give it to me, right? That's like you being like, Haley, I, I need you to like come and like babysit my kid. But in the back of your head, you're like, I know she's going to be a terrible babysitter. I don't rely on her. I don't think she's good at all. I would be like, if I heard your thoughts, I'd be like, I'm not helping you out. I am not helping you out. You don't even trust me to watch your child, right? How do you think God feels? When you sit there and are like, mm, yeah, I don't think I can get Ruby this month. I don't think I can go diamond. Everybody drop what they're going for. Everybody drop what they're going for. I'll drop mine. I'll drop mine. Here we go. Right? Yeah. Now, how many of you have doubted that? Doubted that promotion if you were ready for it, if you were enough for it, if God had your back? Wow, somebody said all the time. I don't know who said it all the time. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. And you're wondering why you still are where you are. You're wondering why. It's not because you're doing something wrong on social media. It's because you're doing something wrong up here in your thoughts, right? Thoughts and actions compose your body. What you're do it's not what you're doing, it's what you're thinking. So stop thinking that you're doing something wrong in your actions with TikTok, with Instagram, with Facebook. It's most likely that you just don't believe in yourself and you don't trust God and you don't have faith. And I had to realize that to move forward in my life. And there's even been times, multiple times this year where I felt like that which is why every day I have to remind myself and every minute I ever doubt, God's got me. It's all good. It's all good. I have six customers that I want to get today. I've only gotten two. Do you think I'm like, oh God, you are not going to pull through for me in the last two and a half hours. I don't think you are. I know he will. I know he will. And maybe that's the difference between me and somebody else who's super stuck or feels like they're not moving forward because you don't trust, right? So when you guys get off this Zoom, Anything that you want, I want you to have full faith. Full faith that you can have it because guess what? You deserve it. You do. You are so amazing. You deserve it all. Bringing everything, the dream house, the car, the, the paid off debt, right? The amazing significant other who loves you and cares about you. The amazing friends, the support system. Because I can tell you I'm surrounded by people who have found it. And maybe I haven't found all those things but I know that I will, right? And even if they weren't around me, I would know that I could still have them because God is a good God, right? And he will give you everything in your heart. So just have faith, guys, just have faith and stop obsessing over things you can't control, like TikTok, like how many people see it, like how many views it gets and likes and how many people reach out. You can't control that. So get your TikToks up, post them, leave the freaking app and go and work on Facebook host to post things you can control, right? Do your follow-ups, freaking nays. Oh my God, literally, please follow up like her, follow up like her. I realized I wasn't doing enough. I was like, dang, this girl is smacking me in the face. I got to do more. Let's talk about being more aggressive with the host posts. Being more aggressive. Yes. Literally, <laughs> if you guys are not getting up host to post, good God. How many of you guys gotten up today? Drop, drop a below and be brutally honest. Be brutally honest. I want to see this. Oh, somebody said 13. Okay, I see you. There are way too many zeros in this chat. Oh, Lord. Wow. I want numbers, guys. Numbers, actual physical numbers. Wow. No. Mm -mm. Okay, let's chat for a second. <laughs> just check why 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 are so many of these zeros and ones and two and three and four why that's literally how freaking ambassadors mass enroll every single day and you're sitting there what are you doing instead 
That's my question. What are you doing in set? No, it's not a scam. I get people who tell me that all the time, Christina. It's not a scam. And you just have to believe in your heart and know it's not a scam. And for me, what I always noticed is I was manifesting what I was thinking about. If I was scared that people were going to tell me it was a scam, I got more of those people, right? I got more of those people. A lot. Whatever I was afraid of, I brought to me way quicker. So I want you guys to actually be purposeful with your time. If you send out 50 messages, I promise you're going to get up like eight to 10, just 50 messages, but you have to believe it, right? You have to believe it. You can't be like, oh, I doubt this is going to work. Mm -mm -mm. No, you have to actually believe it. I believe it every time, which is why it works. So many people are like, how do you actually get up 10 from 50? Because I believe I can. And I know that I can, and I know that this works and I know my friends will help me out. I know my followers will help me out because my followers used to help me out when I literally gave away nothing. Now you have hundreds of dollars of cash that y'all don't even have to contribute to that you get to offer your followers Christmas cash to help their families, a freaking MacBook or a Louis Vuitton. We didn't have that kind of stuff a year over a year ago, right? And now you have all these amazing things to give to people and you're telling me you, can only, you can't give anybody a chance to enter that? You know how many people would love extra Christmas cash right now? Because they can't afford presents for their kids, but because you aren't reaching out and even asking 50 people if they'd like to be entered, you're depriving them from that. Let's get real about that. You're being selfish by not getting host to post up. One person told me, it was over a week ago, and they said, Haley, the reason that I don't get host to post up, I literally lost my mind. The reason that I get don't get host to post up is because they're doing me a favor and like I like, you know, that's just not helping them. It's just like, literally it's all for me. I'm being selfish. I was like, you're being selfish. You're being selfish by not asking. You're not being selfish by asking. You're literally being selfish by not asking someone if they would want to be entered to win $1,500 cash or whatever it is, right? Do you delete people if you ask them twice? No. No, I asked them different questions. If they'd want to try the products, this is my go-to message. I'm going to send it in here. Oh, it's not. Oh my God, wait, it is. Oh, this is my laptop. <laughs> I, was like, I don't think it's going to send. That's my message that I send to people. If they have an answer to read my messages, I'll send that one. Okay. Now, if people have been following them, I've had to get rid of people from like 2019 that I've sent them seven messages and they haven't responded. They're going, <laughs> I got to make room. You know, I'm almost at my 5,000 limit again already. I can't have that. So my thing is, is like, you want to know why you're not enrolling? You just answered it. You just answered your own question. And a lot of you are like, but Haley, that's only LCs. Nah, that's DTs too. That's distributors. Every single person who posts for me gets asked to be a distributor. I'm in the middle of messaging all 42 of those people now that posted for me yesterday. You are literally depriving people of the wonderfulness that is this business. How come you get to enjoy it and they don't? Oh, did I just hurt somebody's feelings? I saw somebody go, oh, did I just hurt somebody's feelings? Good. You should be hurt. You should be like, why am I not reaching out to more people? Why am I not helping more people? That's why you were put here. That's why you're here right now. That's why I'm saying this to you. So step into that person that literally helps as many freaking people as she can, right? I message hundreds every single day. It's massive action. I don't message 20 people. They all say no. And I go, well, that's it. God, I would never, I would not even, I don't even think I'd be an Emerald or a Ruby by now if I would have done that. There's no way I would have promoted past Ruby. No way. Because I knew to even get 20 people, I got to reach out to hundreds all the time. All the time. That's what I told myself as a Ruby. I was like, I got to reach out to at least 300 people a day. I don't know why it was 300 at that time, but that's what it was. And I was enrolling like 20, 25 distributors or 25 customers. You know what I mean? If they're rude, block them. If they're rude, block them. If they're negative, bye. See ya. I don't need that. Right? I even do that for people on my Facebook page. How many of you guys see people post rude stuff on Facebook? Right? Or they post rude stuff on host to post? Bye. See ya. I can't tell you the last time I had that happen. I cannot tell you the last time I had that happen. I don't get rude people. Do you want to know why? Like that often, it's rare. You want to know why? Do you want to know why? Because I don't expect it. 
I don't expect it. I don't think people will be rude because I know there are so many good people out there. Those are the people I'm getting, right? And there's plenty to go around. Stop thinking that everybody's rude. Stop thinking that everybody's mean. Nobody's gonna post for me. My post isn't gonna blow up. All those thoughts right there is why you are where you are. You keep wondering why you're not mass enrolling, why you're not actually sealing the deal with people. It's right here. 50% of it is right here. You did half the work of getting out the message. You did half the work of getting up the host to post. Now you got to do the other half. Like I said at the beginning of this Zoom, full faith. Full faith. Okay? I think I should stop. That was so good. And I want to remind everyone too, like, I think so many people just like give up too soon. Like they do the oh, things definitely. that even if it's like the right things, like you just give up. Like I remember the other day, I was like going ham on my host posts on Facebook all day long. I got up so many, I sent all the follow-ups and I'll admit it. Like I was a little frustrated by the end of the night. I'm like, I didn't sign anyone yet. I could have easily stopped for the night, but I kept going. And that last host post I got up from that last follow-up got me two customers late at night. And I, if I would have awesome. stopped, I wouldn't have gotten those two customers. It made me feel so good knowing I didn't give up just because I got tired and frustrated. Yeah. But at the end of the day, regardless, even if I didn't get those people, because there's plenty of days where I don't sign anyone, I planted all of those seeds. We have to remind ourselves that. And at the end of the day, it's like, you have to make a choice. Like, why did you join this business? You joined mm -hmm. because you wanted to change because maybe you were broke. Maybe you want to quit your job, pay off debt, whatever it is. Like, what is quitting going to do? Putting you right back in that same situation? That's all it is. Yeah. Like people are scared to message. They're scared to do host posts. They're scared to put in the work. They're scared to do TikToks. For me, what's more scary is going back to like struggling. What's more scary is not being able to pay the bills. What's more scary is waking up to an alarm clock in the morning. My gosh, I hate alarm clocks. I love sleeping in. I love my freedom. I love being able to do whatever I want to do for the day and like be able to give back to my family and do all the amazing things this, this business has brought me. But like that stuff motivates me so much to this day I work every single day, like my pants are on fire because I want so much more and I know what this business can bring me and I'm hungry for more. But if you're not working with a sense of urgency and if you're not working with that fire inside of you, you just simply don't want it bad enough. You don't have a why that's driving you. You're just doing it just to do it. I'm not sure if maybe you just don't need the money right now. I don't know what it is, but there's just something inside of you that's not pushing you. So you have to find something that's going to push you. I whatever that whatever someone, that is. I love that someone said, love your attitude. So I'm going to brag on Cassie for like two seconds. You're not going to like it. <laughs> um, but one thing I noticed about her from the moment that like I moved here, because I moved here in January, this girl never talks about the negative stuff. She could have the most rude, excuse my language, rude ass people every single day and like have five of them every day. I've never heard it. I truly believe you've never talked to a rude person because you never talk about it. Oh, you they, never mention it. I mean, they're always- they're Right, always but like somewhere. you never talk about it. So a lot of people are like, I keep getting rude people. One thing I bet you're doing is you're sharing it with others. You're sharing it with your friends. You're sharing it in group, group chats. I had to tell my group chats, I'm not gonna share negative stuff anymore. I'm not gonna share when I have mad, bad people. Not saying you can't ask how to handle a situation. That's very different, right? If you're like, I don't know what to say to this person, right? They're being like, you know, kind of negative. I'm not sure how to handle it, right? But if it's somebody who like just comments a rude thing and blocks you, why do you need to share that with other people? Why do you need to spread that, right? Maybe the reason you're getting more of it is because you're spreading it just as fast. So you're gonna receive it 10 times faster, 10 times more. Start thinking about that, right? Because I can tell you right now that nobody gets negative stuff from me. Nobody knows the hard people I have to deal with. When I get cussed out, when I get told it's a scam, whatever it may be, right? On those rare occasions, it does happen. I don't spread it. That's probably why I don't get it that often, to be honest. And that's probably why she doesn't get it that often, right? Hold on one second. I get so close to getting people to buy something. What's something good to do in that situation? I want to be better at this. Um, follow up more. Yeah. I think after Nay's live, I realized how much I didn't follow up as much as I should have. Preach. And I was like stopping after two or three or four times when this girl will go like the fifth, sixth, seventh time, and then she signs the person. So if you did not watch that live, go back and catch it. It was amazing. And it's it. not even what she's saying. It's just the fact that she's just doing more of it. And I swear I started doing it right after. And I started signing up more people that I probably would have just like let go. Right. You can go from like one customer a day to three, like just easily by following. And up. that also goes for following up with host to post. Like oh my if God. they actually posted for you and just people in general that you're talking to about the products. It's in be obsessed or be average. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to say the wrong thing? Yeah. yeah that's where that is. But I think what, I think what your biggest take, takeaways should be from this Zoom is stay positive, right? Spread negativity, never, right? Never. 
as much as you can. Sometimes maybe even a couple of you, it felt like I'm not negative, but yeah, all you're doing is talking and sharing the bad stuff that goes on in your business with your friends, with your family, with your girl, with your sideline sisters, right? I've been there, done that. Um, stop, <laughs> stop. It's probably why you're getting the rude people that you all are mentioning in the comments and start looking at where you're actually putting your time and making sure that you are putting more time into what you can control versus what you can't, right? Putting in that time where you can control it. I know TikTok's new. I know that it's, you know, one of those things you can get easily frustrated with. I don't want you guys to get worked up and think that you're failing your business because you haven't gone viral because that's just not true. I haven't gone viral and I'm already doing better than I was last month with the amount of enrollments and the amount of people I'm talking to, the amount of follow-ups I'm doing. I'm already better than I was yesterday, last month. And that's what I strive for every single day, right? Um, wow, I've gotten this question probably from every, like every Zoom I've ever done. How do you consistently say, stay chirpy and happy even with what's going on in the world? You decide like where you put your energy. Yeah. Like it's a choice, like crap's always gonna happen. Bad news is gonna happen. Life is gonna happen. Are you going to cry about it? You can have like a pity party for five minutes. I've done that plenty of times. Yeah. Cry it out and then get over it. But like, are you going to let it affect your whole day, your whole month? Like get over it as yeah. nicely as possible. Just get over it. I think it's just like choosing to be happy every day, finding something that you're grateful for in every little thing, even when like shit hits the fan, because I don't want it to seem like, you know, like we're perfect and we don't go through stuff because this year has probably been one of the hardest years in different, dip, all different things this year for me. Um, and I've learned so much, so much about myself, right? Um, happiness is a choice. Absolutely. Happiness is a choice. It's literally a choice. You can choose to have it or to not have it. And ever since, and I think I've known this for so long because I even came into this business doing that, but I, I came in even more grateful, right? Because I had never seen the amount of money that I had. I had never seen the amount of like the better friendships, like, holy crap right? I never seen the love and the support that we have in this business. Do not take it for granted. Even if that's the only, even if that's the only thing that you think it is the good thing that's going on in your life are these Zooms or the girls that you've met. Great. Focus on that then. You're going to create more of it, right? Um, yeah, we're so blessed that you woke up this morning. You woke up this morning. You got to live an amazing day. And if you're like, I didn't have a good day. Okay. Name one thing that happened that's good. Your feet hit the ground when you got up, right? You saw the sun shining. Literally every single time I feel like I'm in a bad mood or just something happened that was not what I wanted to happen, I literally go in my journal and I write down 10 things I'm grateful for. And yeah. instantly, like, I just feel the switch of perspective. And I realize like, there's just no reason to sweat the small stuff. Yeah. If it's not going to matter in five years, don't even waste five minutes on it. Like, get over it. Like I said before. And just decide it's going to be a good day. Like there's way more nice people out there and way more good in the world than there is bad. Definitely. And if you're going to waste your time crying about what didn't go wrong or what didn't go right and what's going wrong, you're never, you're going to miss out on all the blessings. Oh yeah. And God can't bless something or give you more if you're not grateful for what you already have. Why would he? You can't even steward what you have. Why would you be able to steward more? And that goes hand in hand with faith guys. Right. Because if you don't have faith that he can do amazing things, you probably don't have faith that, you're, that your life is as amazing as it is. You're probably not that grateful, right? So you have to look at yourself, look at your situation. I know that it's hard. It's hard to actually take responsibility. You can think that you're, that you're doing everything right. You can think that you're the most positive person in the world. But if you keep thinking that, and you keep thinking that you can do no wrong, you know all, I can tell you right now, you're not going to get far in this business, right? Because this business comes with a lot of ups and downs and you've got to stay faithful and you have to stay consistent and you have to stay, have to stay grateful throughout the whole process. And even when you lose it, I'm not saying, oh my God, you weren't grateful today. Your business is like, you know, never going to go anywhere. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying now that you know this, you need to adapt it, right? So I just want you guys to know that. And I really hope this helped as far as staying organized. I want to answer this because two people asked. Um, for me, it's, it's literally labeling all my customers um, and distributors. 
Um, I also put the day that they want to sign up. If it's like Wednesday or Thursday, um, I'll go back and search the word in my Facebook messenger. And also I know, and I don't know if you know this cast, but now I'm texting. Do you guys know whenever you guys would go and do follow-ups, you do one and then it puts you right back up to the top. In, uh, sorry, your iPhone has updated. If you have an iPhone, it doesn't do that anymore, which is so awesome. Yeah, people are like, yeah, I know. Yeah, so it doesn't do that. So when you go to the bottom of your phone and you start doing follow-ups, it's gonna leave it right where it is, just like in Facebook Messenger. So you don't have to worry about that, about scrolling back down again and again and again and again after every message. So that's obviously really refreshing if you needed that. Um, so I, I hope this helped you guys. Um, like I said, just, just keep the faith. Focus on where you're actually putting your time into what you can control. Put more time there, right? Make your TikToks, get off the app, post them, get off the app. If they go viral, awesome. If they don't, you know what? Your business is still going to be amazing. Your business is still going to thrive if you put in the work, if you put in massive action and you do the things. Look at where it's gotten you thus far. Look at the work that you've done thus far and where it's gotten you. You want more? You want to promote? Do more. Do more on every platform that you can. Okay. So I just wanted you guys to know that. Do you want to add anything? That was honestly perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, I did. I'm, gonna end I'm like so excited. <laughs>